Okay, well, welcome to part two. I think I got the settings corrected for my stream. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that the uh, I'm just reading the raw footage from my GoPro. So in that case, the files are so big that, you know, it's going to have issues trying to process everything and output no, it and closer. you know all that fun stuff Jesse, so another reason up? i should be i should get a new computer uh anyway mission two uh i actually have to think about this real quick mission two was a mission where we were supposed to get a bunch demanding. of parts for the so-called tank uh or you know whatever sort of contraption we were uh, uh supposed to be helping the uh head mod build of course you know <laughs> it got stuck giving someone uh, directions on canvas which is kind of funny you know okay. ask the people with all the nerf blasters but yes so we were f following a penn state person and somehow still managed to uh, uh, get lost. Uh, but that's okay. We worked our way uh, south of Osmond and then over. And then just happened to end up... Uh, yeah. Sure. We happened to end up uh, between the areas 1 and 2. Uh, uh, that were shown on our mission briefing. Because we had to... Uh, Take an item to it's area like, one to get this. something. Take that item to item to area two to get something. So on and so forth. There was it was a chain you had to complete, uh, and then uh, we were told after each part of the chain that uh, yeah, the it would be best to take that item back to the briefing room to ha you know have someone just run it there. So if item one was say grab a can of Fuel. Let's, uh, let's say you grab a can of fuel, and you have to bring that to uh, uh, to uh, area two to get item two. After that point, you could bring item one and just have someone run back to the briefing room with it, and you would have it uh, uh, for the end of the mission. Apparently, uh, there was uh, some miscommunication along the line, as that was the method suggested to us, but I kept hearing multiple people say, Hey, one of the th items early on was an air pump. We took it to the next area. You know, did that. Did as we were told and brought it back. And then area four had tires that we were supposed to inflate. You know, with the air pump that we were told to uh, to return. <laughs> so uh, ma uh, ma making that uh, uh, that part of the mission impossible to complete. Uh, the joys of moderating. I really do feel for the moderators because sometimes crap just gets overlooked and you just have to go with it. Um, anyway, uh, here we are working our way across and, you know, it's been a fun time so far. Uh, mission 1 ended up getting resolved uh, in a unique way because, because of the interesting decision to have five second stun timers at the same time as throwables only. No! Uh, there were a lot of zombies, way more than there should have been. So, to that end, the uh, mods made a judgment call that in addition to everyone earning all their uh, blasters and stuff to use because somehow someone did technically complete the mission. Yep. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Since that happened, they decided that if you were n new to uh, the Penn will, State game and way. you had gotten tagged out as a zombie, then you would be respawned back in. Which I, so, some of the veteran around. players were like, eh, eh, were fine, you know, eh, just going as a zombie. Because, you know, it, it, they've oh, been to Penn State before. They knew uh, oh, so, so they, bad things were man, uh, not had, had chance of happening. It, it's just one of those things that goes with the territory. Uh, but the any of the new players that got happened to get tagged uh, were allowed to come back in as humans. So you'll see people like uh, Cody being uh, in the footage as a human again. That's the reason why. Um, 
Zombie on our uh, left, reporting our location. So, yeah, keep, we, uh, keep this was the yep. big lawn that uh, sits uh, south of Osman. Got out of there, and this was actually one of the areas that had a lot of action in the game last year. Uh, that l large area had a giant group go through it and just have with uh, zombies uh, chasing everybody is actually where I died last year uh, to I think it was Yoshi that uh, that ended up getting me because I was uh, trying to run away and shoot her at the same time and I ended up hitting the shield not her so uh, so yeah died there this corridor in particular in was quick, interesting because we had a group of zombies <laughs> that like somehow snuck up on a <laughs> bunch of humans uh, and got a bunch of people and uh, this part didn't get used nearly as uh, much this year as uh, last year's game, which is unfor kind of unfortunate because it, it's a nice corridor for action to happen. Uh, so we work our way across, and funny thing, uh, working with OBS, you're just playing the raw uh, video file. It's not like there's a not that I know of, considering how I how new I am to it, but. Uh, as far as I know, there's not a way to, you know, fast forward through the file. So we're just going to be doing this whole thing, including the pauses, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, work our way across. And here we have Bowling Green, Red Team, other assorted people. Watch out for cars. They will kill you. Heh <laughs> Also, I believe it was of a head that that Rob was <laughs> saying, "Hey, you should join us for humans versus zombies." It's like, no, Rob, this isn't Athens. It doesn't work that way here. But what you want to see everyone's bellies? See that bird's belly? Random bird just sitting there on the tree, watching us go past. Also known as. A college campus because you know this is just normal for everything that lives there. I if a squirrel had come us up to us begging for food, I would not have been surprised. Uh, interesting uh, uh, tidbit. Uh, unlike the Athens game I played a couple weeks ago, things like the uh, dumpster areas are specifically off loans. You're not supposed to even be around them, so you know we can just walk through that area without having to worry about it. They have a rule not to get in the dumpsters because, you know, Still one zombie trail. if there's a rule against doing something, you know, it means someone did it at some point. And, you know, since Penn State doesn't have set dumpster dumping times, it just happens whenever. Yeah, bad idea. So, <laughs> uh, we're making our way down the street. Uh, we see uh, some humans and some zombies Athens, way man. up ahead. Now. Uh, so we actually are basically northwest of point one at this uh, time. Zombies and since, you know, Zombies ahead. The rest of the humans are uh, there doing their thing. We decide, you know what, uh, let's just go ahead and push on to the uh, second area and just, you know, hold that until the humans show up. Uh, since I hadn't actually thought about uh, uh, talking about it yet, uh, I went pretty simple for uh, the stuff I brought for the uh, HBZ. I mean, uh, Mission 1 was my chosen method of silly with the uh, peat basket, and also because I was expecting something to happen along that lines of, you know, throwables only or pistols only or something like that, so... You know, mission one was the time to uh, do silly and just hope you didn't die while you were doing it. The rest of the time, though, I had a bag full of uh, Boomco stuff that it was just, it's insanely oh, easy to pack and take anywhere. I mean, if necessary, I can uh, pack it smaller and do stuff. I even went to the, what was it, the Mall Mutation game in Missouri last October. 
uh, and that was the easiest uh, thing to do was just throw a bunch of Boomco stuff in the bag and uh, leave it in the trunk and uh, go off and do stuff. Uh, it's definitely not the most commonly used thing anymore, but, you know, it's simple and compact and easy to use. So, uh, I just brought that with me. I had like nine 40 round uh, clips on me and an extra 20 just because. So, you know, at any point during these missions, I will be starting with uh, at least 380 darts. So, in terms of capacity, I'm set. You can't run the fastest, but you can still run, uh, uh, which is kind of the beauty of uh, a tool belt with deep pockets. You can still run uh, without stuff really holding out, because I'm weird and decide to use whatever ammo I like at the time, so I having a, a vest that only fits nerf clips doesn't make much sense. Uh, anyway, we're to this area. This... This area actually also got used a lot last year, so I'm surprised we didn't have anything going on here other than, you know, zombies that were in the way. Um, so, at this point, we're just walking through, taking our good old time, <laughs> yelling at people to catch up. The second objective was over that way, by the way. No, it was one, two, loop around, three. Uh, and then. <laughs> trying to help someone. And, you know. <laughs> when you go off by yourself. Bind him, bind him! When there's a group of zombies. Uh, that's That doesn't usually end well. Let's, let's be honest. You, you have to. You okay? have both You're the okay? speed and the wherewithal to be able to handle a group of zombies chasing after you. And that goes against the herd mentality of people just sticking together. So, you know, going between, shifting between the modes of, I was failing. <laughs> oh shoot, they ran off, just let them go, and we should go help them. Sorry. It is... It's something you have to consciously think about. Uh, uh, <laughs> and depending on how well okay. well armed and well trained your group is, you can, you know, decently help people out. You just have to remember to do that. Um, now I'm just rambling. Okay, up here ahead, uh, this was the uh, area number two? I think I said? Yeah, area number two. And, oh, wait! I'm wrong. Okay. Good, guys? I am wrong. Let's get across the uh, road. This is actually area number three. The human, the main human group had done, done one, they, and they had already been, were in the process of doing two. So, yeah. Our group was way behind. Uh, the, up here is where uh, area three was, uh, in this large uh, field. So, yeah. <laughs> Correction. Uh, <laughs> We were, we, we, our group was just off by ourselves making our own mission. Um, well, there's zombies. They're so, all uh, we got to this area, uh, and the, up in the corner, I realize I'm pointing at my screen, and <laughs> no one else can see that. Ryan, that doesn't help people. Uh, up in the, good. uh, left corner over there, uh, where all the glasses, that's where the third, uh, um, object to collect task was that that one I think was the uh, fuel <laughs> acrobatics not very helpful in HVZ uh, but uh, th I believe that was the fuel one which to be fair none of us realized what the heck the the uh, task was until someone stumbled across it because it just really wasn't well marked uh, also, okay, there was guys. a slight complication of uh, another group was organizing something here. I don't remember which group it was. It might have been Relay for Life. It might have been Scouts. It might have been... It was It was somebody. So, uh, the zombies that were there told us that, you know, there was stuff going on, specifically in the triangle area between the strips of sidewalk. And you, so, we ended up moving... You know, closer towards the road, working our way around that way, 
uh, just to keep everything busy until more humans arrived, and then when the group of humans arrived and the mob mentality got bigger, that whole hey guys, this, section of this, info this just kind of went the down the drain, never and just drifted across the field. Uh, so yeah, that was that was our fault. Sorry, <laughs> we we didn't uh, really relay that to anyone else, and by that point we just kind of said screw it and, and just ran across. That that was our fault. Um, so yeah, at this point we are just playing with the zombies that are there. Oh, thank, <laughs> thanks, Rodney, for correcting me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as, you, as you can tell, our group was definitely lost. So, <laughs> so uh, we knew we were at least in the way of stuff. So it was wait waiting for the humans to come up the road uh, from the previous areas. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, Josh, I'll be at the uh, YSU game this weekend. Uh, uh, won't be there till Saturday, but I'll be there. Uh, but yeah, uh, we end up just, you know, shooting zombies, just kind of... Not much was happening, although we did get a few uh, zombie charges here and there, which was, you know, nice, because it, it, it's better than everyone just waiting around. Uh... And for some reason, I was just really uh, 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 off that day with <laughs> yep. uh, hitting people with the flip bow. Uh, that, that's uh, half the time I was just kind of shooting lazily, one-handed in the in the direction. <laughs> Bad Brian. Bad Brian. Uh, so. But yeah. Uh, I mean, it it wasn't too much of a, a swarm. Uh, I mean, it was definitely a, a pain in the butt just because, you know, group of zombies, short respawn timer, which, you know, 30 seconds was a lot better than 5 seconds, but we, we were just kind of there waiting for the rest of the humans to show up. And that, of course, is the end of that video. Uh, bring up the next one. And it'll buffer for a moment. As my computer decides, Oh, God! I don't know what I'm doing! But it's at least loaded into there, so... You just have to give it a few seconds to... Bring the file in off of memory. Okay. CPU's working <laughs> over time a little bit here, but it should catch up. Okay, move left. Move left. We can't say restun. Re I can actually <laughs> okay. Okay. Clearly, I'm going to have to play around a little bit more with the settings in this if I'm not going to be getting a, a new computer anytime soon. They can just stand in place, stay there, and, and walk back up. And, as you can tell, more humans are showing up. And we had a, a group that uh, came down the same path we originally came, and then we have a large group of humans coming up the road along the, the, the eastern border of our play area. Let, uh, uh, put it that way.
Interesting. <laughs> Watching this as the computer decides <laughs> to get everything buffered. Okay, here you have the humans carrying uh, objects from the previous uh, point. Some of the uh, areas it was specified that two humans had to be carrying uh, objects uh, from in one point to another. <laughs> and we go across the triangle of grass <laughs> with, with without with complete disregard to whatever was happening there. Uh, again, that's our fault. Um, <laughs> Okay. So, computers struggling al along well enough. It's funny watching this little the little uh, thing in the corner of OBS Studio uh, will yell at you that you know. Encoder is overloading. You should try redoing your settings. And I've already redone my settings once, so <laughs> clearly it's not the program that needs <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> work. And at this point, we figure out the objective is here, and a large group of humans <laughs> had actually already started moving on from the uh, past where the objective was. So, you know. Penn State game, one of the games where humans actually have a chance of winning. Uh, let's put it this way. Um, generally speaking, Penn State is heavily biased in favor of zombies. Uh, to the point where, depending on the game, sometimes it feels more like you're playing against the mods than it feels like you're playing against the zombies. <laughs> I mean, granted, given the spike in turnout from this year compared to last you know, thanks to Captain and Xavier and all the crew and auxiliary showing up. Uh, you know, there, there were a lot more uh, uh, people than there were last year, and it it didn't feel like the game was quite up to the uh, point of, you know, ex expanding to accommodate that in terms of the mechanics. It, it, but again, that's another one of those things that's hard to really judge for. When you're doing a game, uh, uh, I mean, end war we were able to judge things somewhat based on uh, the giant turnout uh, that you know we would have to split things up enough and uh, then just be able to drop things if we could. But you know, when you have a game that jumps from a few hundred people to what was it, 428? I th I think that's what they end up having the official tally be. But, you know, when we had a few hundred last year and then it jumps to that, it kind of makes planning a game on the same size campus a bit hard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no one completes final mission at PSU except zombies. Um, I mean, if we're talking about how possible it is for humans to win, YSU is the t type of game where it's going to be hard, but it's at least theoretically possible for the humans to win. It might be that 0.5% chance that goes down to zero as soon as you make a, a nice a little mistake somewhere, but it's at least theoretically possible, and uh, you can at least, in most cases, uh, die a glorious death while at least partway through that final objective. Uh, Penn State, it kind of just ends in massacre every time. <laughs> that, that's the best way to describe it. At this point, oh yay, the CPU isn't struggling quite nearly as much, although it's still buffering. Uh, let's put it this way. 
uh, Josh. I don't have footage of Final Stand. In the time it took for me to uh, reach up, turn on the power button, wait for my camera to turn on, and then hit go, the Final Stand was over. <laughs> So at this point, uh, it, the humans have, basi have basically all done all the objectives that they're going to do. Let's put it that way. They've done all the objectives that they're going to do. And now we're just working our way back to the briefing room because uh, this year it was no safe zones or anything. I know the year before they had the block of sidewalk around the Osmond, a safe zone. Okay. For safety reasons, but uh, this year, uh, you know, no, no one was doing anything that was going to get themselves uh, hurt uh, trying to chase zombies uh, across the the curb or through the parking lot in the rear or you know something like that. It was a lot better in that regard than it was last year, so there was no need to make that area a safe zone. Um, but, so yeah, it's basically run to the end until we get back to the safe zone that is inside the building <laughs> because generally speaking uh, uh penn state if you enter a building you're basically assuming that you've forfeited the mission and you're supposed to stay inside and not interfere for the rest of the time uh so here we are working our way back with you know zombies on our heels And just to let you know, I'm going to turn the, uh, I'm going to turn the, uh, stream off and on again, you know, in the classic method of <laughs> technology fixing, uh, before I start mission three to see it, how much that helps with the stream, uh, encoding, overwhelming everything. Pick up a sock. I'm sure uh, for anyone who's not watching this right now, who's watching this in the future, that, that that this part will be annoying. But, you know, I'm doing with what I have, and I'm just trying something new. So, trying to get through this area. Some of our humans were stuck in the back, playing rear guard, so, you know, had, had to be conscious of the fact that, you know, there were people back there. And admittedly, it, you, you'll see me running around. I, I'm here, uh, officially on red team now, uh, doing stuff with them, but admittedly, part of me still just wants to uh, run around everywhere as opposed to, you know playing with a group of people so <laughs> that's something i'll have to actually work on a little bit oh look there's brad uh, so we have another zombie charge right here turn right turn right not quite to osmond yet but Getting across. Okay, up here is where we get to Osmond. And at this point, we're just holding for a moment while we try to figure out what the heck's going on and after we stand there for a little bit we figure you know at this point any humans that are out here that want to be in are already here in the group so we just go ahead and duck our way inside but until that point we have hordes of zombies anyone from YSU at the invite um I'm trying to think of anyone from that was actually at YSU I don't think any uh, 
actual YSU people made it. I mean, you know, all, all, all the people that go to different HVZ stuff, uh, you know, uh, Red Team, uh, uh, some of the Central Ohio people, uh, BG, stuff like that. But I think YSU uh, ended up sitting out this weekend. Admittedly, a bunch of people were doing things anyway, but... And also, you know, why it's used next weekend. <laughs> there, there's people that are going to be working on that. Here you see people with their arms outstretched being meat shields. Um, I was trying to just keep zombies occupied. And, oh, wait, there's zombies over there. They're going to loop around I don't know why we're going this and see us. So, at this point, we're looking around just checking to make sure we don't have a large group of zombies trying to come around the corner. And we... Can we end up going in the side door here? I think we do. Nah, Scotty wasn't there. Uh, he, di he didn't make it to this one. Yeah, I think we just ended up going through the side door here. Yeah, well, we're waiting on the other humans. Well, that side door, it, it was an option, by th but we go through. Was it this side door? No, no, no. We ended up looping around the back, and, we, and there was a group of humans that ended up coming around at another point. <laughs> checking the discord to see in, in, uh, in case you're wondering why I'm looking at my phone uh, Penn State had a, a channel on discord open for uh, showing uh, game announcements as to you know whether the objectives had been completed or if mission was declared over or you know in case some sort of emergency happened uh, so at this point yeah, at this point we end up just going in the back of the building, and you'll see uh, a bunch of us uh, duck in through the right side, and then a bunch of red team uh, holding people off, and then uh, yelling people to, to get in the doors. And to be fair, the rest. The rest of this is just showing the end of the mission, so... And this is all the point where, the point where the zombies go, Oh look, there's humans coming down that corner. Let's chase them. And you know, since they're on the other side of the street. We can't really help them that much. So yeah, I'll go ahead and cut this off here and uh, reboot the stream for uh, Mission 3 and I will see you in a bit.